welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. In today's video, it is gonna be an office makeover slash tour. I'm gonna share with you all what my office currently looks like because I realized I never did an office tour even though the office has been complete. I say complete because we're obviously doing it over, but it's been pretty much complete for months now. So I'm gonna show you what it currently looks like, but then also in this video, we're going to be making it over. I've been sitting in this office for a while now it's been decorated pretty much the same for a while now and I'm kind of sick of it I like it because it's very like crisp and white and bright but I kind of want something a little bit more moody and kind of vampy in a way I don't know we've been redoing the man cave and it's been very dark and vampy so that's got me like in a I don't know vampy mood just like in a moody mood so I want to switch some things out and I thought I'd film it and share it with you all so you're pretty much getting two office tours today. The first one of how the office looks as is. And the second one is going to be the final reveal of how moody and kind of like romantic I want it to be. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, if you want to see how we make over the office, see what it currently looks like and everything in between, then please just keep on watching. But before we get into today's video, I want to thank our sponsor Wayfair. If you have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I love Wayfair. They've got a bunch of amazing home decor, home furniture pieces that I love to utilize, I love to share with you all. But did you know that they also have a YouTube channel? They have a YouTube channel and they've got a bunch of great shows on there and videos and just awesome content. But I wanted to talk to you all about one of my personal favorites, which is Interior Motives. It's by Kiva Brent here on YouTube. If you follow her or subscribe to her channel, you know she shares a lot of interior design tips as well. And she's tackling very, very specific interior design questions questions and tips and tricks. On this recent episode, she actually answers the question on how you can set up your home for the holidays for under $500. So it's a really, really fun show. I really like it. It's on the Wayfair's YouTube channel. You should definitely go over there and check it out. Such a fun watch. And especially if maybe you have interior design questions of your own, you can get inspiration from their YouTube channel and from the Interior Motive series. You guys, it's seriously awesome. I will have all the information linked down below. You can check them out, check out their YouTube channel, go binge watch, tell them I sent you. And with all that being said, if you wanna see how we update the office, make it over, turn it into something moody and vampy, then please just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna start off by doing a quick office tour of what my office currently looks like. When you walk in, you see the desk right here. I absolutely love this desk. I purchased this desk before we even moved into this house. It was literally, and if you've been following this long, shout out to you. It was sitting in my mom's garage for literally months. I saw it online. I knew I had to get it. I love the acrylic legs. It is just so glam. I'm obsessed with it, but it's not too, too over the top glam because the top obviously is like this nice neutral wooden color, which I think really complements the floors that we have. I love the acrylic and gold knobs. Uh, take that out. <laughs> I have my drawer organizers that I spoke about before in both of the drawers. Drawers, and my computer on top, my headphones when I'm editing and Rob's in a meeting and he can't have a lot of noise around. I've got my laptop, iPad, all my work things out and about on this desk. I love it. Then we have these accent chairs in the front that are staying. I really, really like these. They're kind of like a beigey. In some light, they look gray. In some lighting, they almost look like a blush tone. They're just a really, really pretty color and I love them. They're a velvet material, pretty easy to clean and yeah, I think they look really, really awesome with the desk. Definitely keeping that, but the rug is going. I love this rug, I do, I have no complaints. It doesn't really show a lot of dirt, like it's a nice fabric, it's a nice tone, but I feel like it doesn't really pop. I mean, it's nice, it is very pretty. I would recommend this rug depending on your room. I just feel like it all kind of blends in and I really want something that's gonna pop. So yeah, we're not gonna keep the rug, but I do like the tassels, they don't really stay straight. I guess that's a complaint that I have, but the rug itself is really nice. And then the reason I got this rug is because of the wall art here. These three wall art pieces gave me such a hard time. I think, how many was it? Like two or three came in the mail broken. I had to exchange it, get some other ones. There's still a broken one in the garage that they just gave me my money back on. All in all, I got three. I paid for three, but it was a struggle to get these three. So 
Yeah, and we did all of that hard work only to switch it up. The wall art is going, we're getting something different. I mean, we'll see, none of this stuff has come in the mail yet. So I'm just kind of speaking it into existence that like, yeah, we're gonna switch it up. It's gonna look great, but we'll see. I really like this. I mean, the art definitely is really, really pretty. And I still am going to keep these either in a room makeover in my mom's house or just like, you know, just to switch around. I have a lot of home decor that I've switched up, but I keep it just in case like I want to like switch something up again. I still have like backup decor. So that's what these three are going to turn into backup decor. Maybe in Briella's room, we'll see. This new pedestal that I have over here is also going. I know I'm crazy, <laughs> but I do like this. I am going to keep it. It's going to go someplace else. So it is going to get used. I have a little bowl with some moss inside and then the sconces on either side. These are not functional, but they're just decorative. And I think they're very pretty. This foot massager down here, if you saw my last, YouTube short. You know where I got that. You know the tea on that. It's amazing. I keep it over here. I use it all the time. Speaking of comfort, I have this cushion. I'm going to link this down below. It's on my Amazon storefront. Really, really nice because I sit here and work for hours. So I need to be comfortable. And this chair here, I absolutely love it. It's, um, you know, like white and gold and it's just very, very pretty. But for hours of sitting at a desk, like I probably need like an ergonomic, is that what it's called? Ergonomic something chair. But like I need it to be chic. So Oh, I have this one and I make do and my blanket when I get cold. Over there in the corner, we have our pompous grass stems. I think they're actually called uva, uva stems. I have a spotlight behind the metallic vase. Super cute. I've got my curtains, velvet up front and sheer in the back. They're like a double layer curtain style. Absolutely love them. And then in the corner, another new piece is this console table. I have like a clock, a lamp, some flowers, some books, a crystal down there. My, you know what? I'm not gonna say it to set her off, but I absolutely love this little corner over here, very cozy. And then when you come around, we just have my calendars over here. This is where I keep track of like what I'm gonna film. I know it looks blank, that's because I erased it. Just, I don't know, like some of the stuff was like work related. So I didn't really want that out there. But yeah, this is the office. I love it. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Although I am switching it up. So it's like, how happy can you be? But I'm proud of how it turned out. I'm just ready to switch it up and have something fresh and new. So yeah, that's the end of the tour. We just have our closets over there. I'm not even gonna open that because it's a hot mess. I'm not prepared, but it is time now to switch this office around, get it feeling moody and chic. Let's do it. Is Mr. CB2 Rob, you okay? Yeah. Rob, Rob. <laughs> Basically, Mr. CB2 has left the building and we got a new rug for the office. I'm so excited about this. This looks beautiful. I, I don't know, is this the underside or the top? I think that was this is, side. yeah, this is the top. Wow. I really like this. I wanted something that was gonna be a little bit more moody for the office. I'm, I'm, I'm done with the pink and the peach and the boho with the pompous grass. I just want something a little bit different. So anyway, not only did we get a rug, but we also got a light fixture. I'm gonna have these be functional working sconces, which I'm excited about. These sconces right here are not functional. They're just solely for decor and to look nice, which they do, but I wanted something different. I know, not gold. Can you even believe it? A light fixture that's not gold, like. Who would have thought? We're back to silver. But you guys, silver and nickel is making a comeback. Okay, don't count it out. And I wanted to get a little something something. So I thought the silver would look nice with the gold. I'm not opposed to mixing. I'm just making sure you did it. In. No, I know you were, did it? I mean, I think it's gonna look nice. Like I like mixing metal. So I think this is gonna look really pretty. And yeah, you guys, we are switching up the office. I also added some decor over here. I have been doing some Christmas shopping. I don't know when this video is gonna go up. So I've been getting
getting like Christmas decor um, and other decor from like home goods and just kind of having some fun with styling. I literally still have the tag on, like it's not 100% done. But yeah, I've just been like switching things around a little bit. So yeah, you guys, we are saying goodbye to how the office looks right now and saying hello to a more moody, sophisticated version. And I'm really, really excited. to give you a quick room update. Obviously not 100% done. I'm actually gonna be switching some things around, but this is what the rug looks like. I absolutely, let me move that. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I think it looks so good. It really makes the chairs pop. It just, oh, I just love the design of it. I love the color. I love that it's dark. It just looks really, really good. This tree over here, this is an Amazon find. I don't know if I'm in love with this tree. There's actually a branch on here that completely broke off. I really should just return it, but it was so inexpensive. I'm like, man, nah, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. The branches are kind of small. Like I wish it was more full and wider. So I actually might get a bigger one. I'm still on the fence basically. And then I just kept this vase back here. Probably will move that around at some point. And I got this new basket planter. I'm obsessed with this. I've been eyeing this up for a couple months, but I didn't know where I wanted to place it. And I think this is the perfect spot. We plan on adding functional sconces back here, artwork. We're getting a new pedestal, like I said, but on top of this one, we have this beautiful like sculpture art piece. I'm in love with this. I think it just obviously looks super contemporary and cool up against like the blank wall. I don't know what I was trying to say, but I think it looks really, really nice over here. I think when the new pedestal is here, it'll look even better when the wall is done. And we also have a new decor piece. I got this stool. I thought this was really nice. It kind of adds to the more organic materials that I'm bringing into the office, adding a little bit more of like a moody element. For you guys, Mr. CB2 himself just left and left us with the most beautiful art piece and new pedestal. I'm still playing around with what 
what's gonna go on this pedestal. I don't know. Like I brought a whole bunch of things out just to see like what would go best on here. So I'm playing around with this right now. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, but the art piece I absolutely love. Ignore the markings on the wall. Rob still has to sand that down and paint and obviously add the sconces on either side. But right now this is what it's giving and I love it. I think it looks so good. I'm really excited about how everything is coming together. Sparzy, wait, 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 it went off. Okay, you guys, it was on. We are working on getting the sconces up here in my office. My camera died. My phone is on 10%. It's eight something at night on a Friday. The kids are going a little crazy. And <laughs> we, come on now, come on now. <laughs> we got this to turn on. The electrical is gonna have to be down here. Don't ask. We're just gonna accept it as is. The button to turn on. Guys. <laughs> the button to turn on the light is gonna be, have to be down here. It is what it is. I'm gonna look past it. We can all look past it. The sconce light was able to turn on, but now we just can't get the dimmer. We're working on it. This is, we are first time experimenters over here. So listen. Rob, yeah. if we can do it, they can do it, Absolutely. right? So here we go. This can be on top of it. Yes. Exactly. Yes, Bree. <laughs> Hey you guys, my office is 100% complete. I cannot wait to show you the reveal. If you wanna see the moody office makeover, let's get a countdown going in three, two, one. Hallelujah. <laughs> I have to, even when I don't intentionally say the hallelujah, I do it anyway. I'm like, where did this come from? I didn't even plan to say that. My mind just has a mind of its own. Anyway, this is the office makeover. I feel like it's a subtle change, but I really like this so much better. I love, for starters, obviously we kept the same light fixture. I will link everything down below. I love the moody, dark artwork. This is very different for me. I feel like this is definitely a, you're either gonna love it or hate it. It reminds me of New York, so I love it. Actually, the artist who painted this, their inspiration was like urban city living and like fast paced city life and taxis. And to me, that screams New York. So I was like, I have to, like, I just love it. I think it's really, really cool. This whole office makeover in and of itself is just making the office a little less pink, white, crisp, and gold, and a little bit more like mature, I would say, a little bit more moody and just kind of, I don't know, the word vampy comes to mind. Something like that, maybe, maybe that's what it's giving. I don't know, <laughs> but anyway, that's the art piece. We also added sconces. Rob added dimmable sconces. I'm very, very happy. I love lighting. You all know I'm such a lighting girl. Lighting is extremely important to me. I cannot just have, honestly, if I'm being completely transparent, these overhead lights, like the light fixtures in our home are strictly for decor and, and not really function because I never turn this on. It's either a sconce or a lamp all the way. So I'm very happy I have sconces. I have this tree over here. This is not going to stay. I'm actually gonna return it, but for the sake of the video, I wanted to include it. Might move this planter. This is just still here. I kind of still like it. Like, I don't know, there's something about it. Like, I still kind of, I'm still rocking with the planter. I think it's really cool. So like, why not keep it there? Moving on, I still have the same desk and chairs. New rug, I love the dark rug. It makes everything possible. It makes everything stand out. That was like very cream and beige. The, the depth, like I'm telling you, if you have an all white space, add some darker colors to give it some contrast. Like it just really makes the room elevated, feel elevated and I love it. I added a new pedestal. This is pedestal number three. <laughs> Hopefully I don't change it. I really, really do like this. I like this pedestal because it kind of has like a ribbed detail. It's very, very like contemporary, modern, and it's just very aesthetic. I have a planter on top, some stems in here, and I just love this side of the office. My chair, it's cute. It's not the comfiest. I have a cushion. I will link that. It's on my Amazon storefront. This blanket, I always cuddle up with this because I keep the house very cold. And yeah, that's kind of what I have on my desk. I just have like a laptop holder stand here, phone stand. 
my computer, my headphones. And then over on this side, I just added a lamp. I added a stool right here and a planter. Well, it's like a vase. It's like a decorative vase with some moss inside. Yes, my kids mess with this. This is strictly for the aesthetic, but it's fine. And then moving over on this side, my controversial corner because this technically doesn't really fit. Um, <laughs> I love it. I just have this console here. Lots of decorative objects. I've got some coffee table books, um, a chain down there, a tray, some vases up there, just a collection of aesthetic little things. Things. So this is the office like when you walk through the double doors, this is what you see I absolutely love it. I'm very very happy with it. Shout out to Rob for installing sconces So yeah guys, I really hope you all enjoyed today's video If you did, please give it a thumbs up Make sure you subscribe hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload and we me and the office Makeover my new and improved moody vampy office. We will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys